The announcement of the World Surf League, that is WSL, hosting a surfing event in Abu Dhabi, has ignited a firestorm of criticism, particularly from the LGBTQ community and its allies. Surfer Keila Kennelly, an outspoken advocate for LGBTQ rights, expressed her profound dismay upon learning about the event scheduled for February 2025, especially given that the United Arab Emirates maintains strict laws against same-sex relationships. Her reaction encapsulated a broader concern. How can the WSL expect LGBTQ athletes to participate in a country where their identities are criminalized? Kennelly, a celebrated figure in professional surfing, took to Instagram to voice her outrage. She pointed out the stark contradiction of hosting an event in a nation with documented human rights violations. How can WSL expect an LGBTQ athlete to travel and compete in a country where their very existence is illegal? She questioned, emphasizing the fear and danger such an environment poses to athletes like two-time world champion Tyler Wright, who is openly gay and set to compete. Kennelly aimed to raise awareness and show solidarity with her fellow athletes, particularly highlighting Tyler's situation as one that reflects the precarious nature of competing under such hostile circumstances. Lily Wright, Tyler's wife, also weighed in, emphasizing the troubling implications of the WSL's decision. She highlighted Tyler's long tenure on the tour and the pride flag she has flown since 2020, pointing out the lack of consideration for her safety and dignity. Lily articulated her frustration that, Despite Tyler's achievements and visibility as an LGBTQ athlete, the WSL seemed indifferent to the potential risks involved in competing in Abu Dhabi. WSL has a duty of care to their athletes to not put them in potentially life-threatening circumstances, she asserted. Critics of the WSL's decision have noted that it's not an isolated incident. Many international sporting events, from Formula One races to tennis tournaments, have been staged in the UAE, often described as sports washing, a strategy employed by repressive regimes to improve their image through high-profile sports events. This practice raises significant ethical questions, particularly about the responsibility of sports leagues and organizations in relation to human rights. Kennelly's concerns extended beyond personal safety. She highlighted the broader societal implications of the UAE's laws. The country's restrictions on personal freedoms, particularly for women and LGBTQ individuals, cannot be ignored. Emirati women live under male guardianship, she stated, referencing the grim realities faced by many. Moreover, human rights organizations have pointed out the vague laws that can lead to the arrest of individuals for flagrant indecent acts, which includes various expressions of gender identity and sexuality. The backlash has led to petitions circulating on platforms like Change.org, urging the WSL to reconsider its decision and remove Abu Dhabi from its World Championship Tour calendar. The Queer Surf Club, among other organizations, has taken a stand against what they view as the WSL's complicity in supporting a government that criminalizes LGBTQ identities. In a candid response to comments on her Instagram post suggesting she could simply refrain from being gay while in Abu Dhabi, Kennelly stated, Even if I traveled there without my wife, I look like a lesbian. She emphasized that the very act of existing as an LGBTQ plus individual in such a repressive environment could lead to mistreatment or worse. As the WSL moves forward with its plans for Abu Dhabi, the reactions from athletes and supporters continue to echo. The discussions surrounding athlete safety, human rights, and the ethical implications of hosting events in countries with poor records on these issues are critical. The surf community's response reflects a growing recognition of the importance of inclusion and the safety of all athletes, highlighting that the waves they ride should not come at the expense of their rights and dignity. The situation remains fluid, and many will be watching closely to see how the WSL navigates this complex and sensitive issue in the coming months. Stay subscribed for more videos.